Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Deadly Premonition. We had, uh, well, I had, should I say, um, some technical difficulties in recording this episode, so this is a re-record, and obviously there are going to be some inconsistencies uh, between the, what should be and what shouldn't be. Um, as you notice, my health is a bit lower than it was uh, last time, and I can't save my game here because I had to go repeat ch uh, the chapter, which you can do... Um, that you can't save between well during the chapter so if you repeat a chapter basically you have to play the whole way through it until you reach the end in some cases that's easy enough much like uh, this chapter which we're looking at ending soon anyway um, sorry about that uh, there'll be some other inconsistencies you may notice um, but they don't really matter they don't affect the gameplay at all anyway it looks like we're walking into Greenvale Nature Preserve uh, Lake Country Forest Preserve and we have to run the rest of the way into town like I said maybe a bit of a run uh, one of the consistencies worth noting is there should be uh, some agent honor there I bet it's a repeat and I had picked it up but it's no longer there um, there should be some more as the game goes on which I'll point out um, but as I said they don't really affect the game and we're there. We don't have to run that extra 163 yards. Lucky us. And we've got someone to meet us. Luckily. Now you were so, very late. I didn't realize we were on a schedule. Only why? Green Bell Deputy Sheriff. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Well, it's not raining anymore, is it? FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. So, that's we'll what everyone calls me. York for the rest of the game as well. Since Agent that's what else calls York? Me. Good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Well, clearly not York. Uh, title uh, no, I'm it. Deputy Sheriff that's right. Deputy Wyatt. Sheriff. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back oh, soon. Such a beautiful sunrise there. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? Well, we ran most of it. My car broke down, that's all. She seems somehow shocked that our car would break down. Uh, well, no, it didn't really break down, but... I don't know what that looks meant to convey. Exactly. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. Oh, I would have. She's a psycho. No, I don't think she's going to have much trouble with that. that. You're back. a psycho, is this? You're well, talking Welcome to, to Greenvale. Well, thanks for welcoming. I'm the sheriff. George Woodman. Call me George. Everybody does. And here's the sheriff. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. He doesn't seem too pleased with our arrival. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Maybe my instincts were right there. Then again, as, as you know, this is my second time playing for so My instincts don't count for much, to say the least. To help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Seems he definitely does have a problem, straight. to be honest. And that's Our just small my town has its share of problems. Ignoring observation. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. <laughs> of course. Of course. But by the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. I think there's a bit more than a little accident, really. Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. Well, for someone I'll that said George is in control, we're making orders pretty quickly around here. Do you need anything else? Yeah, he's that, happy thanks. to please. That'll be all. Uh, oh, okay. Obviously, meeting I'll Thomas later on in the tell. game, as well as many other. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Greenbell's uh, no, no, residence. Uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike and I'll try to like stop talking over the dialogue as the game goes on. The but you I should be able to read, hopefully. That, Otherwise, I don't know how you came to my video. 
and we'll oh, handle oh, the investigation. Oh, oh. You just think of this as apparently a we don't like to be called Agent Morgan. Enjoy the nature here. He's got a head up. Head up. You don't have to be a tree worshipper to appreciate the wildlife here. I don't know exactly what a tree worshipper is. Maybe he makes tree. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages, and we've just met the king. It seems uh, York has a bit of a sassy side to him as well. As well as making me get a first impression by blowing smoke in one's face, but I can't say I'm not guilty of that. Anyway, we're feeling welcome to Greenbelt. And as I said, that's the end of the first chapter, or also known as the prologue. Um, you do get an achievement for clearing each chapter, so we won't see me getting the achievement in this recording, um, in the original recording we did, because this is a new profile. Uh, so as the game progresses, we'll probably see uh, the achievement alert pop up a few times throughout the game. As I said, uh, the funds are a little bit different than what they should be, so if you're uh, using this as a guide at all, um, and you're wondering why you don't have that many funds or whatever, um, as I said, it's just a redo, so my funds are a bit higher than they should be. And our game saved. The one uh, safe system is kind of a hassle if you happen to script recording, so uh, my my uh, acknowledgements to the uh, fellow YouTube oh, let's play that there. Anyway, we'll carry on to my last save point. Um. I think this should be pretty much the same from at this point. Um, anyway, let's have a recap of what we've done so far in the investigation. The investigation. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? The coffee warned me about it. So if there's any moral to that recap, drink your coffee, kids. Lots of it, preferably. And we're back in the red room. As you see, it's a little bit different than when we last left it. The TV's on the floor. Um, the angels are missing and... A few other items are missing as well. But there's another card here. Yeah, and it just says, I add it to our collection. And we'll pick it up. This time it's Angel uh, Isaac. And we get another bonus for picking up the card. Um, we'll take this opportunity to look at the cards we've collected so far. Um, and as you see, it's only two. First of it, Francis York Morgan, the main character. Known for his serial demeanor, he talks with dual personality names Zach during investigations. And Angel Isaac. Isaac is an angel. He sits in the red room. A very strange set of twins. Um, we probably won't be looking at the cards too much throughout the game because some um, strangely have spoilers um, and you do collect them before the events happen in the game so um, I'll look at a handful of cards but for the most part we'll probably be just skipping them. Um, that door is locked so we'll check down the door. Um, I'll probably look at the cards at the end of the game uh, but for now I'll just stay sending my collector's album. And we're in a new part of the red room. Oh, it seems like a red uh, dog bark or something. Um, oh, that's it. Seems like we're in a red hallway instead this time. York. And another child in the red room, uh, or red hallway. Uh, this time not one of the twins. And this kid seems to know our names. Okay. Seems like he distracted us just for the shadow to sneak up on us. 
First time we've seen a shadow in the red room. Maybe he was what? Not the TVO. And then just to a new gameplay element where apparently the shadows can't see you if you hold your breath. Which you do by holding the left trigger. Um, this element actually only happens um, a handful of times throughout the game, but even that. Um, however, you do need to know it. Uh, so I guess I stuck it here as a good time as any to introduce you to it. And Jesus, he's pretty close to the friendly room. Um, there are other Let's Plays available if you want to see what happens if you do mess up the screen. Um, I've already repeated the game once and I don't really want to do it again just to show you. Though I do love you YouTubers, uh, I don't love you that much. So, see you again somebody else. And with that there's a knock at the door and the cat wants it. So, we'll let the cat join in for the Let's Play as well. And we made it for a safe and sound. And we've got a special guest, the cat Pavarotti. I don't think you'd be saying much during this, sir. Let's play, sir. We're up. And we made it to the other side of the hallway, sir. We're safe for now, it seems. And we've got more questions than answers. Once again. Uh, as I was talking before, there is a tiredness meter or a sleep meter. Uh, coffee helps remove it, as food helps, well not remove, but helps increase it. As food helps increase your hunger meter, so... Um, we'll be watching those throughout the game, of course sleep helps increase the sleep meter as well. No uh, surprise there. Uh, the problem with the sleep meter, if the hunger meter decreases to empty, you begin to lose health. If the sleep me meter reaches empty, you... Um, Next time you go to sleep in a bed, you miss a day, which becomes quite important when trying to complete side quests in particular, so we'll keep an eye on both meters as we play it again. Zach, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees, a carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. Just, just can't remember. So where. York seems to recall that child from somewhere in his past, maybe. Maybe it's his child, maybe. Well, well it'll painted a picture of it somewhere. Eventually. I don't know. Like I said, For more now, questions than answers. As we know, we need coffee. Coffee is apparently his way of telling Let's the future. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. And I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. And then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? And York apparently likes to say the word coffee a lot. Um, we've got a suitcase here. Apparently, uh, luggage got picked up by Thomas. Uh, and we can change outfits. We also pick up different outfits throughout the game, so the choices aren't limited to what we've got here. Um, we'll go in order, so we'll switch our outfit. Change the workaholic, and we'll send the agent suit into the wash. Only costs us two dollars. Cost uh, takes twenty four hours or one day to come back, nice and clean. And another thing you can do is you can shave. If you don't shave throughout the game, you begin to grow a nice majestic beard, much like myself. Uh, but for now, we'll shave. Looking good in the mirror there, York. Checking himself out. And who can blame him? Get extra for shaving, but uh, we'll probably not shave as much as the game goes on. Anyway, as you probably can tell, we're in the hotel. 
and I'm going to do what's important and grab ourselves a cup of coffee. Here's another one of the town's residents. It's Holly Oxford, the part of this uh, fine Thank establishment. You, Mrs. Holly Oxford, just Polly is fine. Well, That's what everyone calls you. Thank you, Polly. Starving. And if you don't have this song stuck in your head by the end of the Let's Play, you're a braver man than I. Is everything alright, Mr. Morgan? Oh, well, yes. in my opinion. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments yeah. to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests. It does seem to be quite empty, actually. What's that? In that white shaker there. And uh, Polly seems to be a little bit of hard of hearing. I'm wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, oh no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. I'm guessing heaven's a competing hotel. You must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. I've always enjoyed this scene because it always seems like they're um, competing over the soundtrack. Running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. It's a big table. I don't know what she really thought we said there, but she seemed to enjoy it. As he said at the start, he got attacked by a catwoman wannabe, so he's got a tiny scratch on his face that she seems to be interested in for some reason. And it's almost unnoticeable, to be fair. We got luxury treatment at this hotel. We'll ask about the town while we're here. What can you tell me about this town? And we're having another cigarette already, so Francis York is a man after my own heart, I guess. Not that you should smoke. As you can tell, it's quite a small town, around 600 people apparently. Uh, we're going to be meeting a handful of us, 600 or 500 roughly, whatever, uh, however many residents are in this town. And hopefully not all 599 of them are dead by the end of this. about the shops yes, as well. Actually, Polly. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. It is a small you have to uh, keep buying food, as you might guess, and you'll be able to purchase uh, new suits as the game goes on. And of course, the uh, diner to keep uh, your health up, and places where you meet, uh, places where you meet the residents of Greenville. So, these places are important to visit as the game goes on. 
stores are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course, the art gallery, and even a uh, the gas stand. stand. You should be able to we do get a car in this game, which you, needs uh, petrol, and the um, car needs to be looked after as well, so throughout the game we'll need to maintain the vehicle. Um, if we still happen to get into a car accident, and we know we will. Let's see what the future holds for Agent York. Well, look with interest. Did you see that? Hope you are watching now. Did you see that, Zach? It was clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. Knew I, knew I could count on it. Never, Never fails. Now, now then, let's get, let's get going. So FK appears in the coffee. Don't know what that means yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. The questions will be answered as the game goes on. There we see our hunger and a sleep meter. And at the, this moment in time, it seems to be doing alright. I think uh, Francis York Morgan's uh, musical type, so we won't be playing any piano. Or piano for you older types out there. Uh, you can grab another coffee if you want to learn your future, and we'll do that for the rest of the game, but we'll leave it for now. Uh, you can also grab some food and refreshments from the machines here, and throughout the game they will also be topped up as it goes along. You can also talk to Polly and uh, Oh, Learn some hi. information. Ah, yes, Mrs. Uh, Mr. Morgan. If you need anything, you can find me at the front desk. They sell daily goods to our guests. Don't have much, but they ha may help you out. So you sell goods, girl too, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Coffee comes as set with breakfast. Don't worry about the service. It's just as good as any fancy city hotel. Great, thank you. All right then. Did you want something? Uh, we'll talk to her for now. If you're heading out, I should warn you, don't be too late. There's been a lot of trouble on these parts recently. Well, that's why we're here, hopefully to curb that trouble. Trouble? You know, the terrible murder. It's just so scary. Very true, but... I am, you know, looking for the murderer. It'd be so much easier if the killer would just show up and try to kill me. Well, I think we can both... I think all of us can agree that that's happened already. Hey, dude, don't say such horrible things. We gotta rush something to gain something. There's a life lesson for today. Oh, Mr. Morgan, I'm not that kind of lady. Again, she's kind of misunderstood us there. Zach, yeah, I think she misunderstood us again. I don't know what she thought we said exactly. Oh, hi. Hey, um, we'll talk to her a little bit more. Oops, well, maybe we'll buy something with her. Uh, as you see, we can get coffee, stabilizer, which helps uh, pulse rate or stamina meter, uh, cigarettes that I'll explain later on as the game goes on, lollipop, crackers, donut, uh, cheddar cheese, and bait, and a fishing rod. Uh, we'll purchase the bait and the fishing rod now, and we'll be using these uh, quite regularly as the game goes on. And we'll pick up some a fishing rod as well. I'm not quite sure why the bait's so expensive, but you've got to spend money to make money. And that's all we'll grab off here at the moment. Um, Probably grab something off her later on, but she's got some items that we do need. Um, I might actually grab them off her now. I just want to run until you back here, eat and rest up. As I said, I'll just quickly buy another item that we may need later on. And that is the cheddar cheese. We'll grab that. Um, there is another item in our room that we could grab, but... I'll leave it for now. I uh, should still be here by the time we get home. Um, we can look at the TV and check the weather. Today is fine, clear day. Perfect day to have a walk. That thing will be walking, but you get a bonus for checking the weather each day. We'll take a look at the microwave. And shock horror, there's an egg inside for some reason. Don't microwave eggs though. 
especially if they're in their shirt. And we'll take a quick look upstairs and see what they've got up here. History of Greenvale industry. The blade of a huge saw is on display. Likely used ages ago for lum uh, lumber mill. Take a quick look at the photos up here. It tells us here was the deer hunters uh, here that deer hunters score points for the number of antlers in their prey. If all culprits we brought and hit had antlers, what would our score be by now? Take a look at that one. Deer hunting was a popular was popular in this town. This article says one family had their six year old daughter practice shooting. With pigs heads as targets, better watch out for hunting and fishing arenados among the ladies here. We record say that many schools closed down on opening day of the hunting season. So many kids would skip school. Uh, so many kids that have skipped school did they suddenly make it official. Maybe we should think about taking the day off ourselves and up on opening day. Uh, that won't actually happen as the game progresses, but it's just a little bit of informa uh, information about this town's history. Though there's country, uh, controversy concerning the cruelty of shooting game for entertainment, deer hunting helped keep the deer population in check, thus maintaining the balanced ecosystem. Could homicides help us, can, uh, help us keep our own numbers in check, I wonder? That's one way of looking at it. Deer hunting season opens. Greenbell known for its love of hunting. Practically allows hunting all year round. The tub of prey depends on the season. Bears, turkeys, pheasants, crows, ducks, wild ducks, geese and rabbits among them. This town must be hunting the buyer for the aficionados. The display shows Greenbell official hunting rules. Do not shoot females. Males are scored according to the number of antlers. Consult the taxidermist for rare specimens. Various causes on deer hunting. If they sh Shoot, uh, shot us by accident, do you think that stuff us is very specimen? It's got a bit of a sense of humour there. So deer hunters don't shoot uh, the does. I figure all the ladies, uh, I figure all ladies deserve special attention. Well, that's all we can learn from up there. No, there's something else we can look at, and we might as well. Doesn't seem to be of any value to me. What do you think, Zach? Well, fair enough. Anyway, we better head out. We've got a case to sell. We can't spend all day inside. Uh, this... Oh, the days go past in kind of real time, I guess. And there we go, first day of investigation. Total time cleared, 46 minutes, 33 seconds. One day, four of the enemies defeated, number of continues. Payment rewarded, dollars and we brought our money up quite a bit. Saving content, turning off console. Anyway, that'll be all for now. Tune in for the next episode of Let's Play Deadly Premonition. See you then.